in the house of bondage and you know no God beside me thou shalt not have any other gods beside me notice that it's in the negative first thou shalt not have any other gods beside me the next commandment is also in the negative thou shalt not make unto Allah any graven image of anything that creeps on the earth swims in the sea beneath or flies in the sky above in other words don't worship anything but Allah thou shalt not take the Lord thy God's name in vain so you got three negatives before you get to a positive thou shalt remember the Sabbath Saturday and keep it holy Wow what's the number one commandment in Islam starts negative does it start negative la that's negative isn't it la what does la mean tell you how to find out if you're not Arab all you got to do is go to the house of an Arabic family and you're going to find out this word real fast. Yeah, this is the children are playing around, breaking stuff, and the mother is chasing. La, 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 la. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> la ilaha. There is no God. Remember, ilah means God. La ilaha. Illa, except Allah, there is no God. There's no deity worthy to be worshipped, illa Allah, except for Allah. Make sense? Yeah. The purpose of life for the Muslim, not only is it spelled out real clear in this statement, it's also spelled out how to do it. It's not just the law said, go try to figure it out. No, it's all right there. Everything is there for you. Even how to get started. When you want to know how to get started, where do you go? How do you begin? What, what do I do to get started? How can I get into this thing? How can I get it opened up and get into it and start doing it? What's the name of the first chapter of the Quran? Fatiha. It means what? opening hey there's a good idea let's open and read or recite Iqra Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen Ar Rahmanir Rahim Malik Yawm Al Din Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in Here it comes listen real close Ihdina Siratul Mustaqim and that phrase, Adina Surat al-Mustaqim, Prophet Sallallahu said about that, that there is a verse in the Quran that Allah never revealed in previous scripture. And it's in Surah Fatiha. Adina Surat al-Mustaqim. What does it mean? It means Allah guide us to the straight path. Surat al-Ladina an'amta alayhim ghayr al-Magdubi alayhim what a darling. And what do we find from this? That here is how to get started. Ask Allah, guide me. It makes sense, doesn't it? If it's his deen, his way, his universe, who else could help you except him? So you're asking for guidance. And Allah says in the Quran about it very clear. Whoever he guides, nobody's going to misguide him. Is that true? But whoever he lets go astray nobody else can guide him except Allah Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah for this guidance I love it but do you want to know how to be guided now you ask the law where's the answer just keep reading just read a little bit more next verse next I'm sorry next surah and watch what it says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alif Lam Mim what does that mean? 
Zalik means that, not this. Translators all say the word this, but actually it says that is the book wherein there is la ribafi, no doubt. And it's talking about the book with Allah fi lauhim mafuz. According to the ulama, the scholars, this is what they said. But in any case, look what it says next. Huda lil muttaqin. This book is the one with no doubt and it is guidance for people who have taqwa. Taqwa means to put a barrier between you and Allah's anger. By what? Correct belief. Correct belief, not the stinking thinking that we find out in the streets. Correct belief and deeds to match. Put those two together. Amanu wa amilu salihat. And you're good to go. Get the right thing in the head. And then act on it. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was asked one time, tell us about this way of Islam, Deen of Islam, this way that only you could tell us. He said, which means, say, I put everything, everything into Allah. All of it for Allah. My faith, my belief, my trust is all in Allah. And then be steadfast on what you said. Beautiful. Your purpose in this life is to live it to the maximum that you can. Living and worshiping Allah and being who you really are to the best of your ability. But you don't know, you will guess unless you know what Islam teaches you. That's why you need to know what Allah said in his book, in his recitation. Go and find out for yourself to help you so that you understand your purpose and know how to go about doing it. When babies are born, Muslims know exactly what to do. Yeah, we do. We even know about chewing the little date up for them. Mm -hmm. Calling the Adan in the right ear. We know about what day to shave the hair off the head. We know the day to do circumcision on the boys. All of this is in Islam, and we know it. We know how to eat. We know how not to eat. We know when to eat, when not to eat. We know what to eat and what not to eat. We understand the volume of the stomach. All of this is coming to us 1400 years ago. And just last week they released something from the Medical Association determining that they have discovered something amazing that the human being will do much better with their body if they will simply eliminate three days three days every month eliminate any intake fast three days out of every month and this is better for your body oh it's a beautiful hadith of the prophet 1400 years ago <laughs> He used to fast Mondays and Thursdays, and sometimes he would fast three days out of every month. He encouraged us to fast three days out of every month. Oh, that's nice. The doctor is uh, going to reinforce that. He also insisted that we would use the miswak, the stick which cleans your teeth. Today, again, the Medical Association has determined that that's the best, best, ingredient to put in their toothpaste now it's about five dollars a tube it's called dr muhammad's toothpaste and you scrub your teeth with it they said in the report i, I read the report it comes with the toothpaste you can take it down and read it it said it will clean your teeth and the gums removing the tartar and the plaque listen to this without any damage because there's no abrasive it will also clean your tongue, give you nice breath, and, and aid your digestion. The only difference is that little stick, you can buy it in Mecca, Medina for about 10 cents, 50 cents, something like that. You don't have to spend five dollars for that tube, plus you get a free brush. Think about it. 
Islam also teaches us the purpose of life and how to get married. One of the things the Prophet ﷺ taught us 